What is up guys? Welcome back to another video. Today we are going to go over um, what a lot of you have requested and that is sort of how I've done the wiring, um, various wiring on my truck, whether it's the ambient lighting, the, the grill lights, the hood lights, the light bar, whatever. We are going to go over that today and give you guys a better understanding on sort of how that is all done. Um, it's very simple and I hope the, you know I can explain it well enough that you guys have a really good grasp after, after we're said and done here. So um, before I get into it, something that I always kind of forget to do guys, if you guys like what we're doing here at 50 Nation, um, sort of helping you guys grow your brand, grow your, you know, on our Instagram page especially, giving you guys the exposure on your builds and then, you know, just the various forward content we have to post. If you guys really like that and you want to continue being a part of that, guys, uh, smash that subscribe button. It goes a long way. Go follow our Instagram page at 50 Nation. And uh, if you guys are interested in some of our merch, we have the long sleeve shirts, the, you know, we have hoodies, we have t-shirts, we have the hats, and we also have various decals on our uh, page as well. Uh, later in the video, maybe I'll show you our one of our 50 Nation decals is on the back of my truck, but we'll get it right into it here, and um, I hope you guys enjoy the video. Okay, just before we get into it, you guys, I want you guys to have sort of a clear visual, so when I'm explaining it, you can kind of understand, and this is something that you can refer back to. So let's say this is your light, and this is your 12 volt battery, you have your negative and your positive, and your negative is going to go right to your light. You're always going to have two wires coming off of whatever you have, whether device is, even if it's a winch, whatever it is, you're always going to have just two wires coming off of it, um, unless it's something very intricate. But this is very basic, guys, and this will get you through 90% of your sort of uh, auxiliary accessories that you want put on your truck. So then you have your positive wire. And on your positive, you're going to have your switch. So your switch just acts like an on-off, you know, make or break sort of switch. So now this is just a very basic sort of wiring diagram so you guys can understand. Now you have to kind of visualize it differently when you want to get inside your truck. Sorry, make a mess here. Okay, so if you want this wire, all of a sudden you want this switch inside your truck. Well, now you got to run. This is where it kind of gets tricky, right? So you're going to have your two cables coming off of your 12 volt battery and then you don't always want to run it into your firewall and two cables back out of your firewall. It's just sometimes hard. It's easier just to pull one cable through. So what you're going to want to do is always you want a fuse, right? Whether it's a 10, 15 or 20 amp fuse, you're always going to want your fuse protection on this device, especially if you're coming off of your battery. If you're not coming off your battery and you're coming off something existing, like you want to tap off your headlights for power, then your headlights are going to be protected by a fuse, so it's not as crucial to get that protection. Um, though it is good practice to always just have uh, fuse protection so you don't take out your headlights if this does malfunction. But So guys, fuses are very important. They always go in line. You have two wires coming off your fuse, and they always just go on one side on your power side, and then on your auxiliary side to whatever device you're going to. So... Let's just say I drew a line here. I don't know if you can see it, but let's just say this is your firewall um, going into your cab, right? So you're going to basically want, if you're running this, let's say you already got your fuse on and you're running this wire through your engine bay and you're getting ready to go inside into your cab, right? Before you do that, you want to make sure you make this sort of connection, right? So you're going to have a two wire coming from your battery. You're going to have a two wire going to your device and you're gonna have a two wire going to your inside your cab now there's a million different ways to do this guys but I'm just telling you how I would do it because you don't really want to poke what like if you're going through your firewalls you want to keep as minimal as possible right you can always find a ground you can always find your negative inside your cab whether that's just a ground cable that you find or it's your chassis ground um, it all works the same way. So when you do your connection, basically, you're going to have your wire here, your wire here, and your two wire going into your cab. So you always want to make this connection, obviously. And this is going to be your negative cable coming from your battery onto your new two wire going to your device. So you're going to make a connection there. Then from your device, you're going to make a connection here. And this is going into your cab, that two wire going into your cab. And then from the other two wire going into your cab, you want to make that connection on your positive going to your battery. So you're going to have three kind of connections, whether you use, like, however you do that, whether it's butt splices um, or you just twist the wires together and you tape them up 
or you use marettes or however you decide to do that, um, that's how you're going to want to do it. You're going to want to basically do a connection there, your two wire, your two wire, and your two wire, and you're going to want to make your connection here, going to this wire coming off your switch to your light, your power coming into your switch from your power from your battery, and then your negative is going to be connected. So I hope that's very, um, I hope that makes sense, guys. And then you're going to make sure that this is all nicely taped. If you're doing this connection inside your engine bay, you want to make sure that's all nicely taped up and um, and uh, and not exposed to the elements where it's going to get wet and stuff like that. Okay, so I went ahead and I hooked it all up so you guys have a better understanding. Um, and this is hooked up exactly to how the drawing is, okay? So you have your two wires off the battery terminal, right? And this is them right here. Here's your bat battery. It's a battery booster, but we're going to pretend it's our battery. And then you have... You're going to have your main sort of junction here where all your connections are going to happen. Now, where where in the engine that happens, um, that is totally up to you guys. So, you're going to be coming off your battery. And let's say you run your first cable all the way over to here, right? And you figure, okay, I'm going to go into my firewall to get into my engine. Then you might want to start doing your connections here. So, if you do your connections here or here or wherever, and then you have your cable going into your... Um, your cab and then you have your other cable now and you're gonna run that to wherever you want Whether it's for you know wheel lighting or the light bars Or the hood mounts or whatever you want or the grill lights, right? Like the grill lights you would usually just have them incorporated into the headlight but We'll go over that in a minute But however you want to have that that's up to you guys. That's up to your discretion This is basically how you get there in a shorter version, right? These cables are obviously gonna be way longer but when you get to that main junction, right, you have your battery your battery cable, you run it to where you want it, and then wherever you decide to enter your cab, then this is when you start doing your joints. So your negative is always going to be going right to your, this is how I do it. There's different ways you can do it, but just to make it easier, your negative is going to go to your device, whichever device that is. Like on your device, you're going to have two wires coming off of it to that main junction as well, right? And then you're going to have your wire going into your cab going through your firewall into your cab. So that's this is how you want to do it. And you want your 12 volts going in, right, onto your switch, and then your 12 volts coming out and to your light. And then this is just going to make or break that switch. Okay, so we are ready to turn this on. And uh, I have this just random piece of plastic I have just to simulate your dash if you're to mount your switch. Oh, I just ruined the, I just ruined the surprise. So basically all you would do is just drill a 3 8 hole. You put your switch in, put your screw cap on. It's very simple to do it. And then on the back side, you would have your, um, your, term, your two terminations, right? I'll, get in, I'll be more specific on the switch in a second here. So we have our battery booster on, simulating our 12 volt battery, and here's our, our negative and our positive here. And then the junction, as I just kind of showed you guys how it all works. So when we go ahead and we turn the switch on, we have light uh, power to our LED light, and it's the same in all applications. Like I said, whether it's grill lights, LED lights, whatever. Um, so that's sort of, how it works now to get into more detail on the switch side of things because that's the only part that I didn't really explain yet is on the switch you're gonna have like this is what this they don't all come labeled like this so um, basically most switches just have your positive your positive termination and then your 12 volts to your light termination now this one has a ground because this light is able to turn on there's a little led light in here so in order for that little led light to turn on you need the ground now what i would usually do in this situation is that after i have my cable ran to my vehicle and i have you know the switch mounted or whatever you can just take a little black piece of black wire or black cable and then you'd hook it onto here, right? You'd hook stake, put the stake on on, and then basically you run the other end um, to a chassis ground, so a random bolt in your vehicle. And I'll kind of explain this right now, actually. So here is our uh, our voltmeter here. 
And how this voltmeter kind of works is, so you have this indication here for your volts. This is this is for your AC, the, see the sine wave, the little wave. That's your sine wave for AC. That is your DC uh, voltage with the dotted line. And that is your ohm, your ohm meter to ohm it out. And then these are just stuff that I would more or less use in AC applications, um, not so much DC applications. You guys don't have to worry about using those. But so we'll turn our voltmeter on and we'll take one of these prongs here. I'm gonna try to do this all with one hand, so just bear with me for a second here. So we're gonna shove this black right into this uh, ground cable here. Okay, there, so that's buried in there like that. And then we take our red, our positive. It doesn't really matter if you get these switched up, the meter can figure out what end is which. So then when we put that to the red, we have 12 volts DC. Now, when I say chassis ground, if you understand sort of how it works, your battery, your negative side of the battery is always attached to your, your whole frame of your vehicle. So if I put, touch this, so when I put this on here, like if I touch this, these together, you hear the beep? That just means that these are the same common points, right? So that's what this ohm meter does. It's just confirming that these are the same common point. So now if I go to a random bolt like this, You have to press a little bit harder because there's usually a galvanized coating on this that's insulated, but there you go. So you hear the beeping because it's because it's all the same frame ground. Now you can go to various bolts, nuts and bolts on the frame, and it will act the same as your negative on your battery. So that's why when I say you can just hook this one up to see it says the, it shows the ground symbol. You can hook this up to a negative to any sort of chassis bolt or if you find a ground a random ground cable in your cab, you can go ahead and use that. It's all the same. So now that we got that out of the way guys, I really hope that sort of makes sense to you guys so far and uh, and I hope that all kind of makes sense. Now, one thing I didn't really get into is I have this winch here. I'll put this back on the mount quickly. It's all the same application, you guys. So I'll go ahead and I will now, I'll switch this LED light out. Let me just turn this off quickly. So I'll quickly switch this LED light out and I'll plug this winch in. And everything stays the same, right? We got our, um, we just got a bit of a longer cable here, not a big deal. But we have our, I'll wire it. I'll have it the same way as we have in the wiring diagram, just in case someone refers back to this if they are doing a connection. So, same thing. We have our two wires to our battery, two wires to our switch, and now we have a new two wire, and that goes to our winch. And now the winch, how this winch, particular winch works is you just, you, you pull this bolt out. I'll show you. So if you, someone is stuck, you just pull the bolt out, and then you have to pull this out manually to go, you know, you go to the vehicle, you hook it up, make sure this is locked back in. There, it's locked back in. And then when you're ready, we'll turn our booster pack on. And now it's retracting, right? And then when you get it to where you want it to be, you turn your switch off, right? It's all the same application, nothing, nothing changes. So in the case for my vehicle, a very common question I get is, oh, how did you wire these grill lights up, okay? So let's go turn them on right now. So these grill lights here are wired into the headlights. So I found out the positive and the negative of my, of my headlights, and I just spliced those wires in Sort of how I showed you before with the butt splices and stuff like that. There's, you know, there's ways that you can just, I'm sure that's something that you guys can figure out. And uh, ideally what you want to do is, is make a butt splice like this. So this butt splice here, I actually made this a while ago. This is basically two wires going into one end of the butt splice. So you have two wires going into one end of the butt splice and then one wire coming out the other end. And then you just, I just have it taped up all up for and then you have your, you know, that's how you would jump off. Now this goes to your headlight bulb and now this can go to your, um, your whatever, your grill lights, right? So I have it jumped off of that like that. 
And that way when the headlights come on, see how, look at that, perfect. So when the headlights turn off, the grill lights um, turn off. So that works like that. So it's very easy to do, you guys. Once you understand sort of the fundamentals I showed you over there, and then you can go ahead and you can apply it to the whole vehicle. It's the very same. You run your cable to where you want it to, you get your one cable inside your cab, and then you run your other cable to your, um, you can even hook these up individually on a switch if you want. But stuff like this, you want integrated with already existing sort of stuff so it all works, um, it all works kind of coincide. So it just looks more proper when you pull up to a grocery store and everything kind of comes on, comes off at the same time. You're not just flipping a bazillion toggle switches. Now on my truck, in instances where I have toggle switches working for me, is my wheel well lights. So we'll push this one in. And uh, that beeping's really annoying. Anyways, so here are my wheel well lights. And just like that. And then this is my hood lights, just like that. And then that's my bumper light. They're all on the same switch. So now everything's kind of on, right? Like that's what, I'm gonna close this trunk quickly here. Actually, I won't latch it all the way. So now you can see a bunch of my accessories are on now. And then if I go and then just turn those two switches off. And they're all off now. So if just in case anyone is confused, I'll put this back on the mount here. I'll kind of just quickly show you. So I'll scramble all this stuff here. So if you ever want to hook up, like for example, four wheel well lights, right? You got four, you got four lights. So everything works the same. So you can now just jump her off your positive, your negative to another light. Right, you just jump her off, and then you can jump her off, and you can just keep jumpering off now for your four lights, so that everything works on the same switch, and you can just jump her off your main lights. So now, how, like for example, for if you get a package, um, and you order wheel well lights, usually you have an LED an LED driver, so you can operate with Bluetooth, and it's going to have two wires coming out of it like that, your positive and your negative. And then out of this end, you're gonna have four individual wires. It, four individual two wires. And these are gonna be very, very long so that you can get to every wheel well, all four of your wheel wells, no problem. And then you're gonna have a light on the end of each of these. Right? So that's kind of what a wheel well lighting would look like. And it's all the same application, you guys. You take your two wire to here, you go to your switch here, right, inside your cab, and then this goes to your battery, and that goes to your battery. You have your fuse, right, and then this goes to your battery, and that goes to your battery, right? So we'll just go around here. Here's our battery, 12 volts, negative here, and this goes to your positive here. So it's always the same application. There's always just gonna be two wires coming out of most of your devices, right? And then you're gonna have your you know, two wire, positive, negative, same thing, right? And then this will be a Bluetooth driver, right? So that you can, you know, you'll, you, on your phone, you can turn, you can turn these on and off on your phone if you want, or you can change the color. Like there will be an internal switch, but if you have it turned on on your mobile, if you have it turned on on your remote, it'll always be on, and then you can still use this to toggle, toggle it on and off. But that's how you change your colors and stuff like that. You'll have like a Bluetooth LED driver, but just always the same. You know, your winch has your two wires, lights have two wires, your grill lights two wires, and it's all the same application. As long as you can understand sort of how this all works, the rest is very easy, you guys. But I will leave the video there, guys. I know it was pretty long-winded, and uh, I hope you guys... Uh, gained a lot of kind of knowledge from that video. I sometimes hard to it's hard to translate your thoughts into words and sort of make like so. I hope none of you guys are leaving with you know scratching your heads or more confused than you already are coming into it, guys. I hope that you know cleared up on a lot of your issues and hopefully you guys can tackle these your these kind of jobs yourself. And uh, if you guys have any more questions, guys, leave them in the comments. And if there's something else that you guys want me to touch on. Um, also leave in the comments you guys please subscribe uh, thank you guys so much for being here and uh, until the next one you guys